Okay, lastly, I have Jan Brett Cinders, um, which is Cinderella, um, a chicken Cinderella, which um, is kind of like a recreation. Uh, I went to multiple different. I went to our public library, and then I went to a different couple of the different school libraries, and this is. I could not find another representation. Um, this is the closest that I could find. So um, we're set in a farm. Um, and just judging by the illustrations, which Jan Brett's books always have great illustrations, but um, it kind of seems like maybe we're in a Dutch farm here. And it's snowing, it's winter. So this little girl, her father goes out and he leaves her um, at home and so she comes out to sleep with the chickens and when she falls asleep, um, everything, then the story really starts to get going. So um, we have the invitation to the ball here and this chicken right here, she's the evil stepmother. She comes in, she brings the invitation and she's like, um, when everybody's getting ready, she's like, oh, Cinder, you ugly chicken, you're not going, you're staying here. Um, so as everybody's getting ready, everybody kind of leaves. And then we have this little silky chicken that enters the story, who acts as the fairy godmother. And she gives Cinder this beautiful dress and gets her all ready. Um, and they go to the ball. And she follows through and does the whole pumpkin um, pumpkin carriage for her. And she ends up, she goes to the ball far, far away. And here's the rooster and he's our prince in the story. And they have their dance and everything. Um, <laughs> so, of course, then they have to come home. Everything returns to normal. And they have the glass slipper was left here. Um, so they they pick that up and they're kind of wondering, you know, who it belongs to and that kind of thing. Um, and then all these all these eggs were left by Cinder the chicken. Um, The father comes home and he brings back the rooster. And so then, of course, the rooster realizes that Cinder, his princess, was there. So they end up together. Um, so again, this one, it's really a recreation of the basic story. Um, has some really great illustrations. Um, you know, at times I feel like it can be kind of busy. Um, it's a lot to look at, and so it, it it makes it hard to pick out which pieces go with the text, um, which is not always a bad thing. I feel like, um, especially reading the kids, it gives them something to kind of look at to keep them engaged if their minds are kind of wandering. Um, so we've got Cinderella, the gown, the glass slipper, um, we've got that white chicken who's the stepmother. And then the rooster, um, who has really long tail feathers, he's the prince. Um, and then, you know, of course we just have straightforward magic from the silky, who's the godmother. Um, and then they have a ball at the other barn. And so that pretty much covers everything on that.